There may be many things we still don't know about cats, but one thing is clear. They value trust above all. If they know they can trust you, you've got the most loyal friend for life. But if that trust is broken, fixing it can be really tough. In this video, we'll reveal eight easy ways you could be losing your cat's trust without even knowing. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community. Number eight, punishing or scolding harshly. Here's the thing. Cats don't understand punishment in the way we might think. If you raise your voice, shout, or physically reprimand them, they don't connect this behavior with what they've done wrong. Instead, they associate the fear and stress they feel with you. Another aspect to consider is that cats have a different set of social rules and behaviors. What we might perceive as misbehavior, like scratching furniture or jumping on counters, are natural instincts for them. So when they're punished for these actions, it creates confusion as they're being reprimanded for simply acting like a cat. It's also worth mentioning that negative reinforcement can have long-term effects on a cat's well-being. Studies have shown that cats living in high-stress environments are more prone to developing behavioral and health issues, such as inappropriate urination, aggression, or even chronic illnesses like urinary problems. Instead of punishment, the key is understanding why they're behaving a certain way. Are they scratching the couch because they don't have a scratching post? Are they jumping on counters because they're bored? Redirect their attention to what they should do instead, and then reward them with the treat or praise when they do what you want. This is a sure way to build a much healthier and trusting relationship. Number seven, forced interactions. Each cat has their own social boundaries. Some may love constant cuddles and lap time, while others might prefer only occasional petting or even just being in the same room with you without direct contact. When these boundaries are disregarded, say, you constantly pick up a cat who is not comfortable with cuddling, this creates a big problem in the long run. They soon will start to associate your approach with these negative experience. So with time, they'll just start trying to avoid you altogether. A much better approach is to allow them to initiate contact. This means letting them decide when and how they want affection. This is so powerful, in fact, that it usually leads to a significant boost of their trust in you. Here's a simple yet effective trick. Extend your hand towards your kitty and let them come to you and sniff you if they want to, maybe even rub against your hand. By doing so, you show them that you respect their needs and autonomy, which in turn will reinforce their trust and comfort around you. Number six, leaving them alone for too long. This one can significantly impact your cat's trust in you. Cats form strong bonds with their owners. These bonds are nurtured through interaction, play, and simply being in each other's presence. When your cat is left alone regularly for long hours, several issues arise. For one, loneliness sets in. Cats can get bored and even depressed without stimulation or companionship. This isn't just about them missing you. It's about them missing the interactive and enriching activities that usually come with your presence. Another aspect to consider is anxiety. When you're away unpredictably and for prolonged periods, they don't know if you'll come home, whether they'll get food, and this leads to separation anxiety. Most animal behaviorists agree that cats also use social interactions with their humans to learn and reinforce trust. When these interactions are absent for long stretches, it weakens the bond and makes your cat more distant or destructive. Number five not introducing them properly to new environments. Here's why this is so important. Cats use scent to understand and feel comfortable in their space. A new environment doesn't have their scent, and this makes them feel insecure and disoriented. They might feel like you've brought them into a hostile, unfamiliar territory. So, how should you introduce them properly? The key is to do it gradually. Start by setting up a small, safe space for them. One room with all their essentials like food, water, litter box, and some familiar items like their bed or toys. Gradually let them explore the rest of the new environment at their own pace. Don't rush this process. As they become more familiar with the new smells and sights, they'll start to feel more at home. Another important tip is to try to maintain as much of their old routine as possible. Keep their feeding schedule the same and if possible, Arrange their belongings in a similar layout to the previous environment. 
Number four, inconsistent feeding times. This is the biggest thing that provides a sense of security and stability in every cat's life. Cats are pretty smart and they have an internal clock that helps them anticipate regular events, like meal times. If you feed them today half an hour later than you usually do, they start to worry and wonder, when is my next meal coming and is it coming at all? In contrast, feeding your cat at the same time each day can actually strengthen your bond with them. They start to associate you with the positive experience of getting their meals, and this in turn increases their trust and affection. On the other hand, a haphazard feeding schedule can break that trust as they start seeing you as unreliable. Number three, interrupting their sleep. We all know how adorable cats look when they're curled up and sound asleep. It's often tempting to sneak in a pet or a cuddle during these peaceful moments. However, this is a sure way to a breakdown in trust. Firstly, let's consider how much sleep a cat actually needs. Cats are known for their love of sleep, typically snoozing for about 12 to 16 hours a day. This isn't just a preference, it's a biological necessity for them. Moreover, cats are territorial and routine-driven creatures. They choose their sleeping spots carefully, looking for places where they feel safe and comfortable. When their rest is continually disturbed, it can create a sense of insecurity and discomfort. They might start to associate their once safe sleeping spots with being woken up, leading them to seek out new areas or become more guarded about where and when they sleep. It's also important to understand that cats communicate their boundaries in various ways, and respecting these boundaries is key to maintaining their trust. If a cat is consistently woken up, they may start to feel like their signals and communication are not being respected, which can lead to a breakdown in the trust between the cat and their owner. Number two, not respecting their fear responses. Cats show fear in various ways. They might hide, hiss, flatten their ears, puff up their fur, or even flee. These are all natural responses designed to protect them from perceived threats. When we ignore these signs or worse, force cats into situations where they feel scared, it sends a clear message to your cat that their feelings of discomfort are not important to you. Let's say your cat is scared of new people. If a visitor comes over and you immediately try to get your cat to interact with them, your cat may become even more fearful. They might start associating guests with forced, uncomfortable interactions. Instead, try introducing them to new experiences slowly and gently always ensuring they feel secure and in control. For instance, if you're introducing them to a new pet, do it gradually, allowing your cat to observe from a distance and get used to the new presence in their own time. This approach shows respect for their emotions and helps build trust. Number one, overstimulation. So what exactly happens when a cat gets overstimulated? It's a bit like sensory overload. When they're touched too much, especially in sensitive areas like their belly, base of their tail or paws, it can become uncomfortable or even painful. To avoid overstimulation, it's best to let your cat guide the interaction. Observe where they like to be petted and for how long. Some might prefer gentle strokes along their back, while others might like having their head or chin scratched. If they've had enough, they'll let you know. Cats do communicate their comfort levels, but in subtle ways. So it's all about paying attention to their body language. If they start to move away, flick their tail, or show any sign of discomfort, it's time to pause and give them space. Setting up a litter box might seem like a no-brainer, right? But here's the catch. Cats are extremely particular about their bathroom habits. If something about their litter box doesn't meet their standards, they might just start scouting for other, less ideal spots around your home to do their business. So check out this video where we talk about nine most common mistakes cat owners make when setting up the litter box. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.